the New York State Department of Financial Services NYDFS, has approved China Oceanwide's $2.7 billion proposed acquisition of Virginia-based insurance firm Genworth Financial, making it the final insurance regulatory approval. Subscribe to Air Email Newsletter The New York Regulator approved the proposed acquisition by Oceanwide Affiliates of New York domiciled Genworth Life Insurance, which is part of the larger transaction. It follows last week's reapproval from the Virginia State Corporation Commission, Bureau of Insurance of the proposed acquisition of control by the Chinese insurance firm of Genworth's Virginia-based insurance companies, Genworth Life and Annuity Insurance in Jamestown Life Insurance. Announced in October 2016, the Genworth Oceanwide merger had faced regulatory obstacles for its closing. Originally, the closing of the transaction was expected to occur in 2017. As of now, the closing of the deal continues to remain subject to other conditions, such as receipt of required regulatory approvals in China, Canada and from the U.S. Financial Industry Regulatory Authority FINRA. The two parties are said to be engaged actively with the relevant regulators pertaining to their pending applications. In June 2018, the two firms extended their merger agreement to the 31st of January 2019 to give additional time for regulatory review of the deal. Last year, the proposed merger was approved in Australia. As part of the latest approval from NYDFS, Genworth and Oceanwide entered into a letter agreement with the New York regulator to acknowledge certain additional requirements associated with cybersecurity matters and the protection of customer personally identifiable information. The parties, in a statement, said, these requirements are consistent with the enhanced data security program that Genworth and Oceanwide have undertaken in connection with the clearance of the transaction by the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States. As per the terms of the deal, Oceanwide agreed to buy all the Genworth's shares at $5.43 per share in cash. The Chinese firm had also agreed to contribute an additional $600 million of cash to the U.S. insurance firm to address its debt maturing in 2018, on or before its maturity, along with $525 million of cash to the U.S. life insurance businesses.